Before I start this video, I firstly just want to say I cannot believe like over a hundred thousand of you took the time out to watch my last baddie on a budget haul. Like I'm like cracking up thinking about it because it's uh, like, oh, like, I don't even know where to start. Just thank you so, so much if you watched my last video. I'm gonna do another baddie on a budget haul for you all because I have some new stuff, like woohoo. Again from Fairy Season and again from Rose Gal, the same two sites I used last time. If you want a full review, then head over to the last baddie on a budget haul. It's all on there. I won't like wasting time repeating it all again. And yeah, basically everything, shipping times and stuff and everything like I mentioned in the last video was exactly the same. If you possibly could, I know it's like a massive ask, but please could you all follow me over on my 21 Buttons account. Basically 21 Buttons is anything you see on my Instagram, I then link it on my 21 Buttons account and you can get linked directly to any clothes that you see. So it just saves a lot of time through searching and whatnot. My tagline for that is just at Sarah Jo Holder. It's the same as like my Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. And I would be forever grateful if you did follow me on that. So I'm coming out each day with some inexpensive, budgeted, baddy clothes that you won't think are from these shops at all. And you'll probably think you've got up a high street shop, but you haven't, you've spent a fraction of the price. And this is what this video is all about. So if you are interested in the little bits I picked up, carry on watching. Okay, so last time I started with Rose Gals, so I think it's only fair that I start with Fairy Season this time. So for Fairy Season, I just got this tee that you can see that just says Baby Gal on it. And it's kind of got like this Adidas sort of stripe there, which I thought was really, really cool. And the fact that so many kind of designer dupes and stuff like that are going around everywhere, every high street shop at the moment. Last time I got a t-shirt from uh, Fairy Season, which is the Gucci one that you were all raving about. This kind of stuff, I don't know if eBay has guidelines about linking them or anything like that. Anything that you see is that's kind of like a designer sort of dupe, I'm gonna either link them on my Twitter or maybe on my blog. I will leave it all down below what I decide to do, but just to make sure that you all like can access this tea, like this stuff, I'm gonna do that because I don't know if you can link stuff like that on YouTube and I didn't want to risk it. So yeah. This top was something like a thing, like five pound five, between five and ten pounds. Amazing, loving this. Then I just got this t-shirt here, which is again a sort of like dupe t-shirt of a Levi one. Loving the fact that it's in yellow, like a mustardy yellow though. This is just my summer vibe all round. And I think it looked really nice, just knotted up with a pair of um, jean shorts. It's gonna look really nice with like a necklace on it or something like that. There's just so many things you can do with a white t-shirt. And the fact it was again, like I think everything was between, basically everything in this video is between zero and 20 pounds. It was something really, really cheap as well. I'll like link it over there. So you all need to go and have a look at these. And they have so many similar t-shirts sort of like this. I just absolutely love this Levi's one. I thought it was super cute. Fairy season basically fulfilled my dreams when they bought this in because amazing. Like this top is 90s vibes all over. And if you didn't know, I probably mentioned this in every video, I always get a piece that's kind of got like a 90s vibe to it just because I'm basically still stuck in that era. Those were the days that you had basically five channels on a television. That's it, five channels. This top is definitely giving me 90s Alia kind of vibes. I think it looked really nice with a pair of high roasted jeans, a pair of like coloured lens sunglasses that are really going around at the moment. And absolutely loving this kind of Tommy replica sort of bandeau and it fits really nicely. Oh, sizing wise, before I forget, both the t-shirts I got in the size large and this little bandeau thing I got in the size small. This little cold set is possibly the cutest cold set I have ever laid my eyes on. Just this gingham sort of cami top with a bow detail there and sort of like a peplum bit there. And it's got an elasticated back, which is always good. You know I love an elasticated back. And then these cute little gingham shorts, like amazing. I love the two of them together. I think they look so cute, like as they are. As you probably know, I will more than likely tie the top up and then just have the shorts high waisted perfect summer look with a pair of like black cat eye sunglasses and a pair of black sandals like you can't really go wrong perfect like summer evening kind of vibe 
my doorbell's going because my boohoo's parcel's here. So if you were wondering what next week's video is gonna be, sneak peek. As I was saying before, I just got too excited over that boohoo parcel. Um, this two piece is just the perfect summer piece. I got it in the size medium, fits like a dream. You can always wear like either piece separate as well. That's what I always like about two pieces. You don't have to wear them together. You can wear them separately with other things and create different outfits. I swear for years, I just like hated polka dots. I don't know why, like I don't know what I had against them. But at the moment, I have seen a few like cute polka dot things along with this dress here, which is just this white sort of Dalmatian kind of looking dress with this um, wrap over detail there, some frill sleeves, it looks a lot nicer on. And it's just got these frill details there that you kind of wrap around the arm as well. And it's just such a super cute dress. It's super lightweight as well. So it's gonna be great if you're going to some city holiday, you're gonna be walking around all day. That's gonna be a great look for that kind of vibe. Or even just if you're going on a beach holiday, this is gonna be a great cover up or a night look as well. Like I mentioned in like all my videos, I basically, try and own buy pieces that I would wear on several different occasions. Like it's very rare that I'll buy something that's just for one occasion. Um, so I make sure I get a wear out of everything. I think I got this one in the size medium, fits perfectly. If anything, it's just the length of it. If you're kind of above five to seven, it might be quite short. Okay, so I just really wanted a plain denim distressed skirt, like in a kind of light blue denim. And that I did find on Perry season, of course, like, the prices on there were just crazy that I was like, I have to get a denim skirt as well. Just this plain blue denim skirt with like a distressed kind of feel to it there. Like, there's not a lot I can say about it, but if you just want a staple denim skirt, then be sure to get one from Fairy Season because they have a huge range and at amazing prices. I got this in size medium. Love. Because I am browsing holidays at the moment and looking to book one, um, I have been bikini shopping, as always. Um, I did find one really cute bikini on there, actually. It's just this plain black, like, scalloped edge bikini there, and then it's got the sort of scalloped edge pants. And I just thought this was such a cute little set, I think. Black is a safe, stable colour, but especially when it's got, like, a cute detail to it that just adds something a little bit more, I think it's even better. I got this in the size medium. It fits so nicely. Again, I'm a 32D bust, and this fits me perfectly. The pants fit me perfectly as well, bearing in mind I'm a size 8. You know what's even weirder? Like, I love the labels in this. How weird is that? Like, the labels are sort of clear. I don't know if you can see. Even on the labels, you've got, like, the material in it as well, which is so, so good for, like, how much I actually paid for it. So, loving this bikini set. We'll be wearing this on holiday, and you will most likely see a picture of me in it if I actually go away. Okay, so that was it from Fairy Season. Like, Fairy Season has my heart at the moment. They have the best pieces at the best prices, and their shipping isn't too bad. And as far as like an overseas company goes, you all know what I think about it from my last video, so I'm sure to go and check that out if you want a further review. So yeah, moving on to Rose Girl. In my last Rose Girl video, my pact with you all was that I wasn't gonna buy or get any more denim jackets. Then um, I went on Rose Girl and we had a problem. I had to get it though, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've got a problem with denim jackets, but oh. All it means is I'm gonna be doing a denim jacket collection for you very soon. It's just this amazing oversized vintage looking denim jacket and I just know everyone is gonna love this. It's just got this kind of frayed sort of edge here. This is basically my summer go-to denim jacket when I'm going to the airport or away. This is basically what I'm gonna throw on. I just love the fit, the feel of it, the vibe of it, the fact that it even has silver buttons. I think it makes it look even more classic and I'm just absolutely loving the vibe of this. I got this in a size medium. It fits me really well. Again, I think it's meant to be an oversized fit anyway, but oh my God. I think it might have been in my last faddy on a budget like haul. A lot of you asked where my kind of two-tone jeans were from and they were from H&M. But I got them a while ago and I think they've sold out. They do have quite a few around at the moment. And I did find another perfect pair. I did just get this pair from Rose Girl. Again, they've got like the two-tone thing there. They're so similar to the H&M ones. The only thing is, stupidly, like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I didn't read the sizing charts very well. And I got the wrong size. Like, I got the medium. I definitely should have got the large. And websites like this with a jean with no stretch, I always get the large. Um, I don't know what it is. It's just maybe a little bit too tight on the bum there. It kind of like makes my bum look really flat and I'm just so annoyed with myself. Probably sell these on on Depop or something. My Depop is just at Sarah Jo Holder. But I'm just loving the fact that these are a little bit different to my H&M ones. And they have this sort of step hem 
there at the bottom, which I think is so on trend at the moment and so cool. And I'm just so good that they don't fit or I can't show you them on. The last denim bit I got was just this skirt here and it's just this denim number. I'm absolutely loving this. It's like in a stretch denim, which is really, really good for a skirt because it means it's gonna be super flattering on the bum when denim has a stretch in it. And then it's just got this sort of asymmetrical hem there with a frill. I'm absolutely loving that free kind of Spanish looking vibe at the moment. And I just had to get it in this skirt. It's kind of a cross between a midi skirt and a mini skirt, which I'm loving. And yeah, it's gonna be a throw on skirt for me and loving it. I got this in the size medium, so inexpensive again. Go and check it out. The next top I'm in love with is just this Bardo check top with this sort of yellow floral print. Yellow is my vibe. If you didn't watch my last video with um, the Miss Pack yellow skirt, then you definitely need to go and check that out if you're loving yellow too. But um, loving this, I love the fact that it's got these separate little arms there that are kind of a bit fluted, it's cropped. Again, probably tie this up because you know that's my thing. So inexpensive, got it in the size medium, fits like a dream. My perfect summer top to a T, literally. Rose Gal honestly came through with the summer tops. Like, seriously, look at this top here. It's just this white, one shouldered kind of bardo effect top with this frill. This is gorge, like, you'll see it on better. This for me is a perfect white summer top. It's gonna be so nice for all shapes and sizes as well because of like the fit of it, you're only gonna be showing off like a little bit of shoulder and a bit of like their collotage, which I always think is so, so sexy when you like show off your collarbones. I think it's such a nice look. And then if you add a bit of like glowing oil, perfect holiday look. And again, this sort of like light cotton material, so glamorous, love. This next dress is gonna be really hard to show you sort of like this because it's kind of a bit awkward, but it's just this sort of silver graphite kind of colored um, dress with this cow neck. I'm loving cow neck kind of fitted midi dresses at the moment. I find them so flattering, especially if you're like not the curviest person in the world and you want to like enhance what you have, then this is going to be great for you. I did get this in the size small and better. It's backless as well, amazing. It's just got this string detail there to like tie yourself as a bow to how tight you want it, which I think is really good and absolutely loving it. It isn't a slinky material and let's be honest, you're only gonna wear this on a night out. Just be careful if you're going to somewhere that is a sweat box, don't wear this because you will probably more than likely be sweating all over it. Okay, so the next item I don't even really wanna show you, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Basically, Rose Girl gifted me this gorgeous necklace here, amazing. Came, wore it like a few days in a row, perfect. It was like, can't wait to show you it all. When on a night out, at the end of the night out, had um, a glass of drink by the side of my bed. During the middle of the night, I must have taken the necklace off and then just put it on the side, but I like must have plopped it straight into the drink. So it's all gone discolored and I don't even want to show you it like this. Like imagine it how it is in the picture because that's how it came and I know it's like not real kind of gold or whatever anyway, but it would have lasted a lot longer than a few days. It's just my fault I dropped it in the drink. So I am so sorry, Rose Girl, but I did that, like I am literally the stupidest person in the world. Don't let that deter you because it's a gorgeous necklace. Please go check it out. So that's it for my baddie on a budget haul. Are you all feeling like baddies on a budget right now? Because the stuff in this haul literally blew me away. I hope it did you all too. I am so excited for this video to be shared with you all and to hear all your opinions of it. As usual, if there are any discount codes or anything like that, you can get to um, get any money off anything that you've seen. I will link them all down below. Any information that I've missed out, I will be sure to link down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you do want to catch up with me a little bit more, be sure to follow me on my Snapchat at Sarah Jo Holder, my Instagram at Sarah Jo Holder, and my Twitter at Sarah Jo Holder. I don't really tweet that much, but I'm trying. I hope you're all taking care of yourselves, letting you know how you all are, loving you all, loving that I see so many of you in the comments every time. Like that just gives me so much motivation and fills me with so much love that every time I put a video out, you want to go and comment for me. You guys are the best. Thanks so, so much for watching, guys. I love every single one of you.